We've got another question. This is a, a Facebook question from Stacy in Defiance, Ohio. She asks, what would cause my scalp to feel like it's on fire? Ouch. Scalp's on fire. That Scalp doesn't sound Scalp on fire. Pleasant. You know, without seeing a picture, a little bit tough, but it, it yeah. sounds like, you know, it's pretty typical to have skin problems that are isolated to the scalp and they can burn. In case like that, you probably want to see a dermatologist, but the two things that, that jump out in my mind would be number one, seborrheic dermatitis, mm -hmm. which is plaques, but they're more waxy versus psoriasis, which is red, drier, and more scaly. And the giveaway there is if you have scales somewhere else on your body, particularly your elbows or your knees, it's more likely to be psoriasis. The tough thing there is you can actually have both at the same time. Treatment's a little bit different. For the seborrheic dermatitis, you treat actually with, with antifungal medications and with psoriasis, you use shampoos that have tar in it. Tar has been used for hundreds of years to treat psoriasis, and it will help. Definitely see a doctor, because, you know, I've seen a few patients, especially if it's just on one side, burning skin. Think of shingles, too, you know. So definitely want to see the doctor. Okay. And, um, and Dr. Jim, really quickly, you mentioned before the idea of if you're wearing new workout gear that maybe has been washed in something different. Really, all of these things, when they burn, if they burn and itch, it can be an allergen in your shampoos, your conditioner, the detergent. So sometimes it's just a matter of just changing so, out your detergent. Yeah, I mean, if, mm -hmm. it's, if it's something, especially or if your it's something new. Yeah. But, you know, something ongoing that she's saying her scalp burns over and over again, maybe it's something more serious.